Hello everybody and welcome back to another video about ClickUp, in particular about ClickUp AI. And you might have heard a few things about ClickUp AI already and recently they leveled up their game when it comes to AI. There was already some AI in ClickUp which was this, the general stuff that you can do with ChatGPT as well like you know help me create a blog post, help me to reply to this email, summarize this text, give me the key takeaways from this text and so on you know. This is the standard stuff that we see all over the place. What we are really interested in at the Payless Movement is leveraging AI on a next level. And that's what ClickUp just achieved with the new ClickUp Brain AI, which is essentially now a chatbot that you can use inside ClickUp. You might have heard of this from Notion, which is called Notion Q&A AI, where you can also ask the Notion database, your Notion knowledge base, some questions. But why ClickUp is really the game changer here, when it comes to leveraging your knowledge base, we will find out in this video. So let's dive in. Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. Okay, here we are in ClickUp and if you have activated the AI, there you have now use ClickUp AI and you can also use option K. So if I hit option K, it pops up this thing. The good thing that I love is that I can drag it out of the way if there's anything behind that I want to see and it stays on top. So if I go to any other place, then it will stay there. All right. Another thing is when I close this and I open up a task and open the AI again, it is content aware. It recognizes that I'm inside a task right now and it adds the task here. So it also suggests things related to this task. Summarize it, progress update, things that you knew already from ClickUp AI before that you were able to do in the activity feed AI and then you can make a summary and a summary about the last 30 days yesterday and so on, which is already amazing because if there's a lot of collaboration going on, then you really can take advantage of these things. But this is now here as well. So I could hit summarize, obviously in this example task here, there's not much going on. Let's see what we can do if I find something else. So here, for example, is a task where we are creating now the featured images for our inner circle cohort that is launching in March. And here we are communicating with our designer and here's the activity going on. So I'm inside the task and I hit now option K and it brings up AI. Again, it is content aware. So we are inside this task and now I can say progress update and here I can ask the same as I could do from here, but I also could say summarize this. It's the same as I have here. Okay. The task involves blah, blah, blah. And now it brings me the information. What's new though, if I open this on a top level, I can write a stand up or get team updates. So here let's go for team updates and now select our designer and let's see what he was doing the last 24 hours. Just a bulleted list, a short description or traditional. So let's keep the bulleted list and let's see what's happening. So you see it's bringing in all the content that he's working on right now and the amazing thing, it brings up the relevant information as well. Now I can click on these and I can open up the tasks where this is talked about. I can click here. I can click uh, the, through the different tasks. But the nice thing is it also brings up relevant information about this out from the comments inside the task. And I really like this. So let's try it again with a stand up and let's make a standard about this week, what I have done so far. And you see here I have a stand up and this is something amazing. If you have a meeting with your manager and he's asking, what have you done so far this week? Then this is the button. But in fact, he could, if he ever wants to check this, select the person he's interested about the stand up or even the combination of people and then say the last seven days, say a short description, for example, let's see what comes up then. See, now we have a description going on where it explains what they, these people would be focusing on. Another thing that I quickly want to mention is when you go to your, to your home section and click up here, you have now the new AI stand up thing as well. So if you say write stand up, then it will do the same thing for the last seven days and it will bring it in here and it stays there. So if anybody comes asking you, you have it right at hand here. Also for yourself, you can copy it out, sharing it with people. And here you can set it up. So this week, bulleted list, update card, and then it will update the card accordingly. What I didn't test yet is if this would update every week. That would be interesting automatically. If not, then it's just a click of a button away. So far, that's really interesting already because it shows really that the ClickUp AI understands 
the data. And we have a lot of data in our workspaces already, a lot of tasks going on. And therefore, it's really interesting how fast it actually finds all the information and references it. So I have one click and I can go now to this. I have one click, I go to this task and so on. Now let's dive deeper into why this is a big thing that the ClickUp AI is content aware what you have in there. Because this means the ClickUp docs will be also recognized and will find the information for you. So this works then, for example, for work instructions. If there is a new team member coming in, they hit Command K and then say, for example, what are our communication guidelines? And of course, if there is any SOP or anything written, that makes it even more worth writing processes down. ClickUp AI will be able to find the document and it summarizes this as well for you, as you can see here right on screen. And there you have it. You have the details about this. What we really try to focus on is to always put the relevant information to the single source of truth. So if we have anything task relevant, it will go to ClickUp. If we have general discussions, it will be in Slack. But as soon as there is anything related to tasks, it will go to ClickUp and we share the related ClickUp. You know, this is exactly what we have defined in our doc here, you see, and it found it out automatically. So that's usually the issue if you have a lot of SOPs going on, finding the information, pointing people over and over again to the SOP that they need to look for. But now this is where the magic happens. We are using MeetGeek to summarize our meetings and these meeting summaries, they end up here in this meeting summary list. And now we have all the meeting summaries in there. We go here, these are Paco and my meeting, uh, agenda meetings. And now we already have a con and look at this, you know, it's a, it's a wall of text and then we have highlights going on and so on. The thing is now, now I can ask specific questions about this. So let's say, what's the outcome of our recent Paco and Tom Jen meeting? And now I would expect that it would find this agenda meeting here, but there is where there we have some hiccups going on. So let's test another thing. Any information about ERP development? That's something I know I can ask because this is not relevant to the paperless movement but it was something we discussed in our agenda meeting quickly. And therefore, let's see if it finds this now. And there we go. In the Paco and Tom, uh, I mean, there was discussion about ERP and then a quick summary. And then I can quickly go here and you see it finds the task there. What's really interesting though, if I ask now, what was the topic in our recent agenda? You see, now the most recent agenda meeting between Paco and you, Tom Solid, so it recognized my name, discussed various topics about ERP, partner stack. So it found the agenda meeting. But here's also something that I would wish that the ClickUp AI would recognize even more and actually leverage the custom task types. So when I, you know, search for find my recent video I made for YouTube, there you go. Then it says I cannot find any information about this, but we have work streams, we have YouTube videos. So that's something that he could recognize. And then we have here the content type video. And that would be interesting to assist the ClickUp AI finding relevant information. When I talk about videos, it should then find the video content. That's interesting to know. Let's try something else to go back to these meeting minutes. Find meeting summary between Paco and me from the 15th. January. And there you go. If I'm more specific, it understands what I'm, I'm asking for. And what you see here now, and that's the amazing part, and I'm not aware that actually the Notion AI can do this yet, is that this is not content inside ClickUp. This is content on G Drive. In fact, it's a Google Doc. And it not only finds the title, but it also finds the content and it makes a summary for me as well. But I can easily click here now and now we are inside the summary that was sent automatically to the G drive. So for example, if I say find membership data, okay, that's another example. Now it will check the ClickUp database, but what you see here, it's a Google spreadsheet. So you see it found two Google spreadsheets. And when I open this up, I'm directly in the Google spreadsheet. I can even start working in there, copying out. And here as well, boom, it opens the Google spreadsheet. And that makes it really interesting because now I can keep meeting notes as a Google Doc. I can 
create Google Spreadsheets, Google Data in G Sheets. But you also see here, that's a membership data export as a CSV file. So it even reads the CSV file that is based in Google Drive. Okay, we talked already about work instruction that people can search for. We talked about external data that people can find on G Drive. But what's also relevant, we are building up a business knowledge management system. So we are using ClickUp for business project management and business knowledge management. And if you're interested what else we use in our productivity tool stack, I suggest you to check out the other video that we made where we lay out all the different tools on our iCore framework and there you will understand why we use ClickUp over Notion as well. And here it really becomes to starts to shine as a business knowledge management tool now with this new ClickUp AI integration. So of course we've created the iCore journey with all the different courses. And if you go to projects, you see there are still the courses, digital note-taking, PKM like a pro. And if you go in here, there's the things that we worked on, but there are also the video scripts that we created for the courses, so the lessons. So obviously all this knowledge is in there that we teach inside our membership. And now I can easily just ask a specific question, a, a very specific question about iCore. So, and if I just ask what's the capturing beast, obviously here we are in the knowledge database of our business and therefore the capturing beast is a mental model introduced in the Fabulous Moving Workspace to help you capture information that's truly relevant to you. And it finds the lesson where we talked about this, but not only the, the recent video script that I just showed you here, but also from our previous course, they had, we had a lesson five called as a hack, which was an article that we published and there we talked about this as well briefly, which we now doubled down in the new course. So it finds all the relevant information. But what is this? Let's click there. Oh, there's even the Google Doc that found there. You see, even if you created all the scripts on, on G Drive, on Google Docs, it will find the relevant information as well. And then here in the execution beast, we reference to the capturing beast as well. So therefore it found this as well as a source and it made a nice summary out of this. And this is really amazing. We can try this again with something that might confuse AI. Let's see, what's the definition of peer? Could be anything. So let's see what it will do with our knowledge base. And there you go. Peer stands for plan, execute, align. That's another mental model that we teach in a project management like a pro course. And here is the video script. I click there, I go to the video script, I see all the details, what is peer. And now it's the amazing thing. We could say create a social post about peer. Okay, I could be more specific, make it short, make it a tweet, whatever. But you see how quickly it will pull out the things. And obviously we are never using AI results as they are, but they are always inspiring and giving you a starting point. And that's really, really helpful. Let's test another specific question like, how do I set up single sign on for Mighty Networks? That's the platform that we are using for our membership. And it's something very specific, single sign on, it needs to understand Mighty Networks. And there you go, to set up single sign on, it even, you know, writes it out. For Mighty Networks, you need to blah, 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 what we need. But then here you go, connect WordPress with Mighty Networks. That is something from last year that's that's really nice for serendipity as well because it's, it keeps bringing up old resources. And if they are outdated and you recognize this, then it's an option to update them. Here also, it shows a Google Doc and the interesting thing here is that's a Google Doc not saved on our servers. That's a Google Doc on the Mighty Network servers where they share how to set up this single sign-on. The only reason why it's showing here, if we click here, I referenced it. I, I posted the Google Doc in here. So therefore, it was finding the source and now references back to the Google Doc and gets out the information out of all these sources. And that's really amazing. And now something that I didn't mention yet, but you might have seen it already, you could create a task or create a doc. So I say, create a task. Now I have all the relevant information in there and set up single sign on and I could create this task. We are not setting this up now, but that would be the idea. And I think that's really amazing. It also gives suggestions, ask about your doc. So single sign on, 
we are in a dock here and then I can send what's the purpose of this dock and so on. If I go completely out, it's, a it's suggesting me questions that I can ask about my overall workspace. So what is the ICO methodology mentioned in the business details? That's amazing. When I say a few more, it gives me more information based on my search results, what I was looking for, but also on my overall knowledge base. Let's see what comes up when I click this. And there we go. It pulls the information from our knowledge base and you see all the sources that it was looking into. That's amazing. And now I could keep asking. I can, for example, also, if a member has a question, I could now ask this question in a knowledge base to get already a summary out of our knowledge base that makes it easier as a starting point to reply to this member inside our community. That's really amazing. Obviously, this is just the start of the new ClickUp Brain AI. And for this very first version, it's amazing. It's really going in the, into the right direction and it's adding the layer that we always were looking for is that it is content aware but also on external sources like G Drive. The universal search inside Clicker was able to find content on G Drive, but now that I'm able to ask questions and it understands synonyms and phrases and so on, and you can communicate with your knowledge base is amazing. What is missing right now, in my opinion, is the calendar integration. So it is aware of the events that I have got doing. So for example, what are my meetings today or things like that. Obviously, then I can go to home and check out my calendar there. But being aware of this or when I ask the questions, when was the last agenda meeting? You know, the recognition of the meetings. This being said, what I already mentioned during the video as well, I would love that AI is more aware of the different custom task types. So when I ask for a video, it will look in the right direction. What's also missing right now is PDF content search. So it's not looking into PDF files for content. That's something that they implemented for universal search. So it's a possible that they look into PDF content and it would be such a big advantage over Notion because you've never been able to search inside PDF content. Another thing that I recognized, it doesn't take into account your notepad inside ClickUp. If I ask this, then it tells me that it cannot look into the private space. However, it's looking into my private workspaces even. So it is possible to look into private spaces. I don't know why it's not possible with the notepad. So this would be interesting as well. But this being said, it's an amazing start into the right direction. It is really something new that I haven't seen in any other project management tools yet. And if you want to stay up to date and learn about the latest releases about AI, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends if it was helpful for you. And if you really want to master ClickUp and learn how we set up ClickUp and how we use it, we actually have a ClickUp like a pro course inside our Payless Movement membership. You'll find the link in the description below. That's that for today and I'll catch you up next time.